look at that. The place we rented, it's got a right-hand fridge in a left-hand kitchen. I'm gonna have to see if I can change this. Looks like that fridge, it can be changed. So the girl's gonna empty out the fridge, put everything in the, from the freezer into cooler, and, and we got some of uh, those cooler bags there to put all the other stuff in. And I went and borrowed some tools from across the road there. And now I'll check this out. Get the fridge out of that, out of the hole there. And look at this hinge here. And it's got a pilot hole for the actual hinge. I just have to drill some screw holes. And this hinge here, it's gonna take a little bit of doing, but uh, I think it'll go pretty smooth. Look at that, it's got a pilot screw where the, the, the nose of it's supposed to go. And the hinge down here on the bottom, uh, well, I don't know. I have to take the fridge and lay it down to get at it. Okay. Start off by undoing the screws here. Take the hinge off. There. Now, well, there's a bearing I have to move over, a little plastic bearing, but uh, we'll line it up here. Take the pencil. Draw some uh, marks there where I could drill the holes. Had to use the screw there to bang it in there for a pilot, for a center punch. And then get the proper size drill, just a little bit smaller than the screw so they could make their own threads. Just screw it in to get the threads going before I uh, put the hinge on. There, that seems seems to work good. Look at that, eh? Now I got threads in there. They're kind of machine screws, but they come to a point where they can make their own threads. Okay, we'll take the freezer door off and have a look at this hinge. Yeah, you see that uh, it's open. The, the, that screw there, the thing is open so I could just push it in there. And I'll take this off and that's where the, the hinge goes. There's a, a bearing or a bushing on the other side it has to go in that hole. Going pretty good so far. It's got hex screws here to undo, I don't know. Yeah, I can't do that up once the door's on, so I have to just uh, make it tight, bang the hinge in there. Now this one, I gotta lay the fridge down. There's no way around that. Now we'll tighten this up. We don't need it anymore. There. Okay, now the same thing. That's my man. Make some marks. Yeah, uh-huh. Screw's got a point on the end. My Leatherman out there again, and use it for a point. Use the screw for a center punch. Point there. Simple as that. So I have to use a two size a little bit smaller than the button top there. Threads going there too. Now, deal with this hinge down below. Well, I have to take the legs off, unscrew them, uh, get them out of the way. There. Well, there's two good size, uh, three good size screws holding that bottom hinge on. Oh, look at that, eh? The other side, it's got the holes in the right place. I don't have to use the pencil, but the they're a little bit uh, too small. I have to drill them out. So I have to go up two sizes for this one. And uh, 
get some threads going there. Get this hinge on just in the right place. No problem. Yeah, everything lines up good. Look at that, I gotta... Had to fool around here and get the right size drill, but look at that, getting some threads going in there. It's awesome. Okay, we'll get this hinge on here right in the exact spot because the holes were already there. No big deal, but there is a couple washers that I have to make sure I get them on top on the hinge itself. Got these here hex screws, so there's the bottom door on. Now we'll get the top the freezer door on and put this hinge into place. We know we got all the holes drilled in the right spot. And look at that. Put that little cap on to camouflage everything. And it should be all good. Well, the damn door wouldn't close properly. Had to take it back off again. And what's this doodad for? It was kind of in the way. Well, there's a spot for it on the other side. So I guess it's got something to do with the hinge. It helps the hinge out somehow. So I had to move that over there. Had all the holes already there, so I just had to move it over. And now Barb's gonna put all the groceries back in the fridge. Maybe even check out the ones that don't need to go back in the fridge. 